Welcome back to Reading with Miss Vita. Today we are going to be reading a book called Penguin Pete Ahoy! Who doesn't love penguins? And pirates. All right. This is by Marcus Pfister. A North-South Books. Penguin Pete Ahoy! Penguin Pete woke up one bright sunny morning and said to himself, this feels like a good day to go exploring. He plunged straight into the sea and swam quickly past all the friendly fish. Sorry, no time to play today, he said. I've got important things to do. I wonder what his important things are. Let's turn the page and see. Before long, Pete found something really interesting to explore. Around the bend in the next bay was an old ship with jagged holes in its rotten timbers and tattered sails. Flipping in the wind, there seemed to be no one in the ship, so Pete clambered aboard. Oh no, he found an old floating ship. I wonder if there's ghosts. <laughs> what a mess, gasped Pete, looking at all the crates, barrels, ropes, and broken planks scattered across the deck. A settling rustling noise seemed to startle him. It seemed to come from under the old sack. Pete waddled quietly over to the sack and pulled it into the air. <gasps> what do you think's under? Let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> Cowering underneath was a little gray mouse. Hello, said Pete. I'm sorry if I frightened you, but I was a bit scared myself. I don't think there was anyone on the ship. There's only me, said the little creature, and I wasn't really frightened. The mouse stood up straight and saluted smartly. I'm Horatio, the ship's mouse, he announced. Welcome aboard. Nice to meet you, Horatio. I'm Penguin Pete. Let's be friends. All right, said Horatio. Come on, I'll show you my ship. Pete liked the storeroom best of all. Some of the boxes and packages were broken open and Pete had never seen so many good things to eat. Does all of this really belong to you, asked Pete, licking his beak? It certainly does, said Horatio with pride. Help yourself. Let's get back on deck, said Pete, when he f was too full to eat anymore. Oh, they ate so much food. Do do do. What do you think they're going to do next? Let's find out. Pete rushed upstairs and found a fishing net to play with. He swished it through the air, used it to give his friend a ride. He even dressed up in it until suddenly he was tangled in the mesh. The more he struggled to get free, the more entangled he became. Don't worry, said Horatio. A ship's mouse can handle nets. I'll get you free. Oh no, look, he's all stuck. Next, Horatio suggested a game of hide and seek. Pete tried his best, but he wasn't very good at hiding. And the mouse, who knew every nook and cranny on the ship, quickly found him every time. Aw oh, man, he couldn't hide anywhere. Let's climb to the top of the mast, said the mouse. You can see the whole world from up there. He scampered nimbly up the rib ladder. Pete struggled to follow him. The view from here is wonderful, isn't it, Horatio? Yes, said Pete, but I don't like being up so high. I'm feeling dizzy. You're just seasick, said Horatio wisely. I think I'd feel better in the sea, said Pete. Why don't we go for a swim? Swim, said the little mouse nervously. I have a better idea. I'll ride in the lifeboat. It still looks seaworthy. You can push me. Pete carefully lowered the boat into the water and began to push, but Horatio squeaked, help, my feet are getting wet. Water was running in through a hole in the bottom of the boat. Abandoned ship, called Pete. But I can't swim, cried the little mouse. I'll save you, shouted Pete as he raced to pull Horatio out before the boat sank. 
Oh no, poor little Horatio. Oh. Climb on my back, said Pete. You'll be all right. He carried his little friend back to the ship and wrapped him in a blanket. The mouse was still trembling with fright. I think I'll stay on the ship from now on, he said, but I hope you'll come to visit me again. Of course I will, said Pete as he jumped into the sea. Oh, so he saved his little mouse friend and said he'd come and visit. <sighs> Horatio scurried into the ship's rail to wave. Goodbye, ahoy there, Pete, he called. So long, shipmate, cried Pete as he paddled away. The next time I come to visit, I'll teach you how to swim. Oh, he's going to teach him how to swim. That's so sweet. The end. Well, that was Penguin Pete, so we didn't have any pirates, but we did have a little mouse. And Pete made a new friend. How fun. Till next time.